and welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing fantastic if you are new here my name is michelle adagala and i am a certified personal trainer thank you so much for tuning in today do consider subscribing okay join this thriving informative fitness youtube family and today i wanted to touch on everything to do with your gains since we're away from the gym so many people are super worried about losing their muscle losing their gains losing their progress and it is quite understandable because by this time i'm sure if you've been away from the gym for about three to four weeks your body is already reacting to that you are shrinking personally i am shrinking <laughs> but i'm not so worried about that and in today's video i'm gonna explain to you why that is so i'm also gonna be sharing with you some tips which you can implement to help you maintain your muscle until we're back at the gym so without talking too much let's jump right into it so first things first okay do not panic don't panic because there's no reason to panic your body is very smart and very systematic in the way in which it operates yeah so i'm gonna touch on two things over here the first one is your central nervous system and how your brain operates in conjunction with the muscle in your body and your nervous system okay and also i'm gonna touch on the muscle tissue and the muscle fiber itself and why exactly you may feel like you're shrinking or you may feel like you're not as strong as you were before the gyms were closed okay so when it comes to the brain and your motor skills because when you are training you are sharpening up your motor skills and all that information is stored in your brain in your cerebellum okay so whenever you feel like okay i've taken a break will i be able to squat again will i be able to do my lunges again or will i have to start back at square one uh, i learned how to do my perfect deadlift will i have to learn that all over again no you will not you will not have to go through all that struggle again because your brain already has those motor skills learned and even if you are out of the gym for six months even one year you will still get back to the gym and you will still have the skill and the ability to lift and to train just as you were before okay a, a short break like the one we are on right now which it could be longer you know we, we don't know what's gonna happen but regardless of the duration of the break you still have your motor skills in check your brain has got you <laughs> you still have all that stored information and you, your body will not fail you when it comes to that you're also still implementing those movements without your knowledge subconsciously you're still squatting you're still bending and lifting you're still picking up and placing things you know you're still utilizing those movements in the planes of motion so you really don't have anything to worry about yeah you will not forget anything and that's why some of us are still able to ride a bike even when you haven't driven a bike in five years or still you're able to swim even when you haven't swam in a very long time you know your brain stores all that information or even remembering a dance like in a 2001 video you still know every single step and every single time because your brain has taught all that information so please relax <laughs> secondly when we look at the muscle tissue itself yes you were training yes you had that pump yes you were looking big but right now you're smaller the guns have gone <laughs> the quads are going down and that is what normally happens when you don't continuously stimulate your body or put it through the stimuli which it's normally used to yeah you're doing your home workouts for sure yes but that training volume and the training intensity is not the same as it were when you were at the gym yeah it's completely different things have had to change you're not using as much resistance as you normally would and your body is just adapting to that however that's not to say that your muscle is breaking down that is not muscle atrophy however you should be aware that muscle atrophy does happen when you are not partaking in any physical activity it also happens when you are sick and with all old age it does happen your muscle can break down and that can lead you to becoming smaller and a bit more vulnerable in terms of you know handling your own body weight and going through the activities of daily living so whatever is happening right now is not necessarily muscle breakdown but I'd say it's a shrinkage of the muscle because what normally happens when you start training yeah is that you stimulate the muscle tissue and within the muscle tissue there are cells so the more you train the more myonuclei grow within the muscle cell and that enables it to grow bigger that is called muscle hypertrophy the growth of the muscle okay so you have your bigger muscle over there okay guns <laughs> you also have a lot more myonuclei in the muscle than when you weren't training before so when you start training in a period like we are right now if you take a two-week break a one-month break two months three months six months 
you still have that myonuclei which your muscle worked so hard to build and it's still stored inside it didn't get rid of it so when we do get back to the gym at whatever time we're gonna get back to the gym your muscle has that myonuclei and that's what we normally refer to as muscle memory okay it's not gonna take you back to step one square one to now start building that new myonuclei in order for it to become bigger and stronger again but it's going to utilize that same myonuclei within its muscles uh, within the muscle tissue in order to you know grow back even faster we've been able to see several scientific studies about people who've been taking breaks from the gym for about two to three months when they come back they actually get to revive and you know get back to their normal physique their normal size within a very short time span of about two to three weeks even a month however that time span is highly dependent on your genetic code and how your body operates yeah however it will not take you those three years to get back to where you were before it's just that your muscle has shrunk okay it's smaller but within it it still has that myonuclei inside it so when you do get back to training you're gonna be good you're gonna be okay <laughs> so now since we're at home and we don't have access to the squat track or the barbells and all that yummy stuff <laughs> what exactly can you get to do in order to preserve and maintain your muscles when it comes to home workouts you want to train until failure training until failure essentially means that you're gonna do the reps until you can't do the reps anymore and that is normally a rep range between 15 to 25 reps per exercise okay however i wouldn't necessarily advise you to follow that you know three sets of 10 type of you know setup i'd advise you to go by the second by the minute if in 60 seconds you're able to get in 45 reps that's perfect that's amazing you know other than sticking to three reps of 10 which will not necessarily lead you to that failure point okay so you have to train till failure you have to do high reps you could also implement extra resistance using your resistance bands you could use bottles okay something as simple as walking going out for a 30 to 40 to even 60 minute walk like i do could also be a really great and fantastic tool to help you preserve your muscle your muscle doesn't know that oh i'm doing a bicep curl it doesn't know that it only understands the stimulus applied to it it only understands the energy and the tension being forced upon it that is what it understands so it doesn't matter if you are doing your bicep curls or if you're doing your push-ups just make sure that you get in some stimulus here and there i recommend that you go in for about two to three stimulus inducing days per week so you could have two days out of your training routine uh, with specific focus of you know i'm wrapping out i'm doing my failure exercises i'm doing my as many reps as possible arm wrap workout okay there's so many on youtube you could just search for an arm wrap workout and follow through with it and then on the remaining days on your training schedule go for a full body type of workout which for me the best thing right now to do would be to go for an outdoor walk it literally stimulates your entire body <laughs> yeah so you just need to keep that stimulus going when it comes to your nutrition you need to still take your protein balance out your macronutrients balance out your carbohydrates and your fats and your protein if you are still training at home please do not think that you don't need to ingest your protein you really do need your protein in order to help your muscle preserve itself because as we all know protein repairs damaged muscle tissue and that really comes in handy when it comes to trying to preserve your muscle and to avoid it to get to a point of muscle atrophy so keep that in mind <laughs> so other than that guys remember that the panic right now is not really necessary if anything the more panicked you are the higher your cortisol levels and you know stress doesn't do a lot of good things in your body in your system you really do not need the stress levels to be up and hiked and at the same time you're not training you know that only does more harm than good to your actual muscle your physique yeah but all in all no need to panic when we get back to the gym you're gonna see it for yourself I'm, I'm just saying you're gonna see it by yourself it's gonna take about three weeks four weeks six weeks for some people and you'll be back on track that also applies to your strength you are not losing anything your body is very intelligent and your body can never fail you okay so trust in yourself a bit trust <laughs> So with that being said guys, thank you so much for tuning in today and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye! <laughs>